Hey, what's up guys? Chris Trini here for Chris Girl Productions. Welcome to this new exciting tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to sync text to audio. Now in case you don't know what I'm talking about, it looks a little something like this. So pretty much I'm saying things and the text matches up with what I'm saying. Now this all seems fancy, but actually with a few simple steps, you can do this very easily. So with that being said, let's jump into After Effects and let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I already imported my clip here and it's split between the audio clip and the video clip. Now this isn't necessarily like this all the time, this is just the way I have it organized. Uh, yours might be in the same clip. But the main thing that you're going to want to do at first is to select a portion of your clip that has audio and you're going to want to access its waveform. So there's two ways that you can do it. You can either expand the uh, these arrows over here, go under audio, and then expand waveform and you can see it right there or there's a keyboard shortcut for that so if I collapse that back in uh, if I hit L on my keyboard twice so LL let me try that again there we go LL uh, you can see that my waveform pops up and this is gonna be really useful for us because uh, this is our visual indicator of when things are said so we'll get into that right now and you'll see exactly what I mean alright so to give you an idea on what we're gonna be doing uh, with this waveform is we're gonna be trying to individualize each little word that I'm saying and uh, matching it up with some text that we're going to create. So there's a neat little trick that you can do uh, to make this a little bit easier. Instead of ramp reading sections all the time, you can actually hold down the timeline indicator knob and scroll through. And if you hold down command while you do that, you can actually preview the audio and the video at the same time as you're scrolling. So this is similar to Premiere and uh, I believe Sony Vegas, they'll have that kind of kind of annoying sometimes uh, scrubbing feature whenever you're scrubbing through your your timeline but that's what that does and it's gonna be really useful to uh, to really separate all those words out so let's get started and let's start to scrub through here okay so this first part I'm saying so pretty much so pretty much okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my text tool over here and I'm gonna type in so pretty much all right, let's uh, drag this somewhere that we can see it up here. And I'm going to expand the text properties. And I'm going to put down animate. And yeah, we can do scale. All right, and also we're going to expand the range selector tool. OK, cool. So once we have this uh, expanded, we want to put the scale down to 0. And uh, let's go back to where I'm saying so pretty much. Okay. So at this point in time, we're going to animate, not the scale, but the start position of a range selector. And we're going to hear, so, so for this part, we want to reveal, so, so we're going to increase the percentage to that. So now he's saying, so, and then, actually, let's bring this in a little bit. And then over here I say pretty much. So then we're gonna put it back up to 100. So if I ramp preview this, so pretty much I'm saying. All right, so it's not perfect. It needs a little bit more of tweaking when it comes to the timing of each word. Let's bring all these back one frame. I think my brain is playing tricks on me. So, so pretty much I'm saying. that looks a little bit better. Okay. So uh, you can obviously spend more time and, and tweak this to match better. But uh, there's a few more things that I, uh, I want to show you. Uh, this is pretty much how you do the effect. This is literally how simple it is. You just have to take a look at the waveform and just match words to, uh, to each part of it. It's a little bit tedious. It takes a little bit of patience depending on how long your clip is. But there's one thing that you can do if you go under advanced under the range selector option. You can uh, change based on characters to words. So now instead of each character scaling up, you have only the individual words scaling up, which may uh, look better depending on what you're doing. All right, so as you can see, each individual character is actually scaling up based on its own anchor point. And although this may work for you and what you're doing, I kind of don't like this. And I want to actually have each word scale up as if it had a, a single anchor point. So to do that, we can go under more options under text over here. If you expand that, you can reveal this anchor point grouping option. And right now you can see that it's selected to character, and that's what it's doing right now. Each uh, character is scaling up, like we said. But if you change it to word, you can see that now each individual word is uh, going to have its own center anchor point, and it's going to scale up evenly. 
Now this of course all depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to have a, more of a, a typed while speaking type of effect, then you know you might want to select it to character. But in my opinion, this is what looks best for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. And uh, let's uh, keep adding some more text. I'm just gonna do one more example because I'm pretty sure that after that you you get the point. So now I'm saying I'm saying things. And let's see if that's what I'm actually saying. All right, let's go ahead and animate the uh, range selector tool again. So let's go on under text and let's animate. Let's do the let's do the opacity this time, just to uh, change it up a little bit. Go under range selector, bring the opacity down to zero, and let's animate the start position. And then, all right, so I'm going to bring this until we see I'm saying, so, saying, then saying things, there we go. So let's run preview from the beginning. So pretty much I'm saying things and the all right, so you get the main idea. Obviously, you need to spend a little bit more time than I did with uh, matching it up with the audio a little bit better. Let's create a new uh, new text over here, and we're gonna type in and let's uh, make this where we can see it. All right, so this time I'm just gonna have the text just pop uh, on screen without any kind of animation. So, and so over here, I'm just gonna duplicate this, bring it forward, and move it a little bit, type in the. So it goes, and the. Okay, I'm gonna stop here just because I don't wanna make this too long, but let's ramp preview this and it should be a lot more accurate than the other method. Same things and the text matches up with. But the bottom line is that this is pretty much all that is involved in making this effect. It's really simple, just analyze your waveform and um, match things up with it. It doesn't even have to be text, you can even match certain elements or you know, screen flashing at the beat of the kick because now all you have to do is just uh, you know, analyze the waveform and look at where that spike happens whenever the, the kick happens. And you can match pretty much anything. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy or, or learned anything from it. And if this is your first time on my channel, please hit subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends. My name is Chris Trini for Chris Core Productions and I will see you next time.